Books. How many of you saw where that one was going before I got there? <sighs> hey, how's it going? My name is Michael Bookline and you are watching the first official Epic Reads book haul of 2019. I have a couple questions. First, how? And then second is also how. How is it 2019? I... Huh. My inability to understand the passage of time doesn't matter because a whole new year means tons of new books. And I have a feeling it's going to be a fantastic year for books. And that's not just because I keep looking down at a pack of books that I'm really excited about. So as always, I'm going to start the book haul by talking about some of the books that I am reading or have read recently. The first of which is Sadie by Courtney Summers. And I am currently in the process of reading this book. And I would like to preface by saying, I don't know if you guys know, if you watched the previous book hauls, you'd know because I talked about it repeatedly. Last year was not a good reading year for me, and so I needed some sort of motivation to get me to read more, and I work in publishing, so it's a little embarrassing that I didn't read too much, but if you guys have heard about it, if you haven't heard about it, I am reading this book as part of my Year of Epic Reads reading challenge. So what the Year of Epic Reads reading challenge is, is that every week, month, and quarter, there's a new challenge for you, the readers, and us to participate in where we just can read a book of our choice that fits a certain category. And the category for the month of January is first impressions. And so I heard so many good things about this book. So my first impressions were that it was fantastic and I'm gonna love it. And I'm really enjoying it so far. And if you wanna know more about the Year of Epic Reads reading challenge, click the links down below. There's a Facebook group and there's a blog post all about it. And as for Sadie, this book is about a girl whose sister is murdered. And so Sadie, who's depicted on the cover, goes on a hunt to find the person who is responsible and get some revenge. It's a really dangerous, twisty thriller. It's told half from the perspective of Sadie herself and half from the perspective of a podcast that's following the story. So it's a really interesting narrative style. And like I said, I'm enjoying it so far. And the next book I have here is The Wicked King by Holly Black. Everyone in the office loved the first book, The Cruel Prince. You know I had it on hand and they look so beautiful together. It's actually dangerous. And so we used our Epic Reads powers for our own selfish needs and acquired a copy of the sequel. And oh my God, it just, it takes Jude deeper into the fairy court and there's danger at every turn. And for reasons that happened in the first book that I'm not gonna spoil you for, she's now tied to Cardin. And there's a sort of, I love it, but also hate it dynamic, which is I think how they feel about each other too. And it's just a fantastic time. And Holly Black is a queen and we are all her peasants. So plot twist, it's me. I'm the Wicked King. This actually really hurts, okay. And so now I'm gonna start talking about some of the books that we have coming out this month. I hope you got bookstore gift cards because there are a lot of fantastic books coming here. Your wallets are not ready. And if you didn't get gift cards, what kind of friends do you have? Didn't get you gift cards to bookstores for the holidays. <laughs> So first up, we have Evermore by Sarah Holland. This cover is just absolutely gorgeous and is aesthetic goals, which I could never personally pull off. And it is the sequel to Everless. And it follows a girl living in a world where time is money that's extracted from your blood and used as a form of payment. And the first book followed her, Jules Ember, returning to this sort of estate where she used to work when she was younger, but she had to flee with her dad and a change of circumstances made her have to go back there. And things get a little crazy. People die. The ending still has me screaming. And book two picks up where Jules Ember learns that the ancient legends of magic she learned when she was younger are true and she just might be at the center of them all. And it's just epic and so high stakes fantasy and I love it. And the next book I have here is The Field Guide to the North American Teenager by Ben Phillip. If you can't tell from this cover, there's a little bit of bullet journaling involved in this, which is really interesting. And it follows a character named Norris Kaplan, who is a black French Canadian who gets moved down to the middle of sweltering Texas. Sweltering is not a place in Texas, it's just hot there in case you don't know much about Texas. And it's sort of a culture shock from him. All of his knowledge of America comes from watching American sitcoms. And so when he gets there, he starts sort of bullet journaling and categorizing the people that he meets into certain high school stereotypes and groups to help him understand them more. Like the jock, the cheerleader, you know how it goes. And he sort of built up this wall of snark where he won't let anyone in. And then he realizes that things kind of go wrong when you live that way. And he needs to sort of break down this wall and not be so judgmental or 
off from everybody in order to have the life that he wants to live. And I think that's a really relatable and funny plot. And so I'm super excited to read it. And also I really like the cover. And the next book I have here is Black Enough, edited by E.B. Zaboy. And this package is just covered in beauty. I absolutely love it. And it is a collection of short stories from a bunch of different fantastic authors, such as Justina Ireland, Danielle Clayton, Jay Coles, Nick Stone. There's so many. And they all write stories about the experiences of coming of age, being young and black in America, and just the diversity in everyone's experiences. And I just think this is a fantastic book. And the next book I have here is A Thousand Sisters, The Heroic Airwomen of the Soviet Union in World War II by Elizabeth Wine, who's the author of Codename Verity, a book you might have read and I personally read and really enjoyed. And it's super fitting because this is a true story about the women who flew as pilots in World War II. They were the first ever women to do so. Sometimes they were as young as teenagers, and so they put their lives on the line for the cause. And it's full of photos of the actual women who were these pilots, and I think that's really fantastic. So... Y'all don't mind if I scream for a sec because the next book I have here is The Vanishing Stair by Maureen Johnson. And this is the sequel to Truly Devious, which I read and loved. And if you watched last month's book haul, you know I read and loved this too. And I didn't know the cover would be this color and I absolutely adore it. I think it's fantastic. And I should preface by saying that this is a mystery novel about a girl who goes to this boarding school for super elite students who are talented at something and she's really good at solving crimes. Like she could watch CSI, figure out what's going on before the episode is over. And her name is Stevie Bell. And so she goes to the school with the intention of figuring out this murder and kidnapping of the original proprietor's wife and daughter way, way, way in the past. The crime was never solved. And while she's there, one of her classmates gets killed off. And so there's a lot of danger and death at this school, but she's there to solve the mysteries and low key save everybody. And when I finished this book, believe me when I tell you, I physically wrote out a web of everything we knew because I was obsessed with it and I need to solve these mysteries before the series is over and there's one more book coming out. And the next book I have here is Circle of Shadows by Evelyn Skye. This book I am super excited for. First of all, the cover gets me really hyped and I think it tells you what you're going to get in this novel because it follows apprentice warriors who are meant to protect the kingdom of Kachona and it follows two warriors in training specifically, Sora and Damon, who on this routine scouting mission come across a camp where they sort of have to infiltrate and figure out what's going on and find out that there's some dangerous things happening and they need to put their lives on the line to protect the kingdom and go undercover and it's just secrets and lies and magic and I am so hyped for this book, you guys. And then the final book we have coming out that I want to tell you guys about is A Sky For Us Alone by Kirsten Russell and this follows a boy in this really small town in the middle of Appalachia whose brother was just killed by the family who sort of runs everything in the town and he's trying to figure out why and there's an opioid crisis in the town so it's just this really sad time for him until he meets someone that he's got a really strong connection with and like in each other they find like this love and happiness but can that last in this place where there's just so much heaviness going on and he has to sort of figure out what happened to his brother and try and keep moving forward with everything that's happened to him and it's such an emotional read you guys. And then before I go, I want to talk about a few of the books that we got from other publishers, and the first one of which is White Stag by Cara Barbieri, and I picked this book up because I really like the cover, I think it's cool, and the promise actually sounds really interesting too. It's about this girl who finds herself becoming more monster than human and has to figure out what's happening before it's too late, and I don't actually want to know more. I think that's just really foreboding and dangerous and dark and atmospheric, and I'm interested. And then the next book I have here is The Bloodleaf, and it's in this really cool packaged box that I guess the best thing to do would be just read to you what's on it. And it says, the strongest magic requires the greatest sacrifice. And on the back, it begins with three dead white ponies, then a maid, a mother, a crone, then upon a bed of red roses, lead three fallen kings who leave three empty thrones. I realized that was a rhyme as I was reading it. I'm sorry if I didn't read it with the sort of tilt in my voice, but I think that sounds very dark and atmospheric as well. And I believe it came with this cool little pin. So I'm excited for this book too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like it's gonna be an auspicious year for books with all of the things that I talked to you guys about today. Please comment down below with what sounds most interesting to you and what other books coming out in January 2019 that you're excited to read. And I will see you guys again next month. Thank you again. My name is Michael Booklion and you're watching the Epic Reads Book Haul. I sounded like I was doing the Disney Channel outro just now. Bye.